I'm going to show you how to make clustered bar graphs in SPSS. This will go quickly, so don't blink. But let's do a, a normal bar chart bar graph first. Though there's many ways to do that, but the way I like to do it is go to the legacy dialog. You can also go to the chart builder, but I prefer this one because I'm lazy. I just go to bar graph, click a simple, and let's just pick one. I don't know. Let's pick the stress one, right? How frequently do they engage in yoga? to relieve stress. So you just click in the stress variable. I believe it's that one, right? Yoga and stress. And you put that in the category axis. And this is not for groups, right? We're just going to get one plain old bar graph. And this is it. This is everybody, right? So now we want to look at, let's pretend we want to look at the males and females. To split it up. We want the bar graph for stress on both Males and females and the third one, right? So let's do them as a clustered bar graph. We go to graphs, we go to legacy, we go to bar graph. This one, we're going to do clustered. Get in there. And we leave the summaries for group class cases alone there. And just click D. And so this time I'm going to, you know, do the yoga. That's going to be defined clusters by. Now the category axis with the clustered bar charts is your categorical variable. Remember that category axis, categorical variable. So I'm going to switch the gender over here. And I got the blue button down here on the bottom that you can't see. I'm going to click OK. So now we get the data split up into the three different genders, right? Males apparently don't use a lot of yoga. Females do use a lot of yoga. And then the non-binary third gender, they use a little bit more than males. Okay, so that's how you make a clustered bar chart in SPSS. Hope it helps. MGZ out.